What's up everyone, this is Odd Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can customize your iPhone using this awesome Siri shortcut with so many features on it. So without further ado, let's get started. So real quick, I just want to mention that I actually updated iSimplify today, if you guys do not know, and I'm also rocking this awesome wallpaper, you can find it on there as well. And I just want to give a huge shout out to Apple Tech Video, he's actually the one who discovered this shortcut, and this shortcut is amazing. This has so much on it. So you're going to want to click the link in the description. And then from here, go ahead and tap on the get button for the Siri shortcut section. Once you've done that, scroll down and then tap on the download button. And it's going to install the Siri shortcut on your iOS 12 device. So tap get shortcut and then go ahead and tap on library and then go ahead and then tap on the iTweak tweak shortcut. Now you're going to get a list of menu options. So there are actually a lot of cool things to choose from. So if you tap on system tweaks, you're going to get like the no folder labels. If you tap on this, it'll automatically copy the certain character to your clipboard where you can paste it in and make folders not have labels. You can also turn on low power mode plus plus, which basically turns on low power mode or like turns off the Wi-Fi and everything turns off Bluetooth and lowers your brightness. This can be useful in situations where you just need to conserve battery as fast as possible. You can also do this really cool feature where if you're ever inside of a movie theater, you can turn your iPhone into a movie theater setting and then you can even turn it back off if you so choose. On top of that, if you've ever wanted where to get the high dock wallpapers, if you hate like searching up YouTube videos to try to find the link, now you have the link on your iPhone. So this is just a more convenient way to access it rather than having to navigate through the site. You just have it in a Siri shortcut. Now you can replace the link if you want, if you navigate inside the shortcut, but you kind of have to know how Siri shortcuts works. On top of that, there's even a built-in Cydia alternative, which is pretty cool. So I don't really need to discuss that. I've shown you guys that before on the channel. So that is about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Huge credit goes to Apple Tech Video. He is a legendary YouTuber, and as always, peace.